Rakata Yahweh Shah, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh, Rakata Yahweh Shah. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. And I give unto them eternal life, and they shall never perish. Neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. My Father which gave them me is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessing to the elect. All right, um, in order to do this lesson, all right, the fool have said in his heart that there is no God. Okay, and uh, this, as you can see, is in Psalms 14 and 1. Okay, now, you know, um, this is a beautiful precept here because when you, when you, um, you know, look into the world today, you have different kinds of people, all right, because they have this uh, so-called freedom of religion, as they call it, or freedom to believe whatever you want to believe. Okay, now, you have people that say that they're atheists, and they say that they don't believe, you know, some of them say they don't believe that there is a God, or, you know, that you are God, and all this extra madness, and so on and so forth. But that's why it says here in Psalms 14 and 1, the fool hath said in his heart, meaning in their mind, this is what they believe, there is no God, there is no power, all right? They are corrupt, they have done abominable works, there is none that doeth good. Okay, you, you'll notice majority of these people are Edomites too. All right, that, that, that go around with these uh, theories in their heads. Now, you know, I have a couple of, uh, uh, you know, things here. All right, just things in the world that when you look at it, you know, you can't really explain it with, you know, you know, you when you look at it, it had to have taken a higher power, some divine, you know, uh, 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 um, power to cause these things to happen, okay? Because even even humans, all right, spend uh, 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 their lives trying to understand how certain things work in the world, you know? So how the hell can you be God when you spend your whole life trying to understand the creation of God, okay? You have these meteor meteorologists that study and, and uh, try to predict the weather, you have archae that's why you have these 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 ologists okay archaeologists you know this ology this that that because it's the study of you're trying to understand how these things work okay even even uh when you go into anatomy for example all right you don't even understand fully how the human body works you don't understand how the elements work okay but yet you claim that there is no higher power. So how did all these things come to be? Now, this right here is an underwater cave. All right. It's an underwater cave. And you see, I put with air because you, you have literally in the deep, in the ocean. Okay. Now you would think that in the ocean, there should be no, you know, no, uh, 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 no, you can't have air under the water, under the ocean, right? Because let's say you have, um, a flood, right? And a flood comes inside your um, your room, you know, and the water level starts to rise. By the time that water gets to the ceiling of your room, you're not going to find any pockets of air anywhere, you know what I'm saying, under your bed or in your, your closet somewhere. So how, you know, if, if, the, if from, from the, uh, uh, you know, the land going down to the bottom of the ocean, you know, you would think that everything from the bottom of the ocean up until the land should be submerged completely in water. All right. But yet here you have a, a underwater caves, man, where that, that has oxygen in it. You know, so that's that's pretty interesting as well. Now, how how did that happen? You know, what man was able to do that? You know, all these things that you see, OK, the, the sharks, whales, you know, different variety of fishes that have different abilities. You know, there's certain fish that just dissolve when they come out of water. You know, octopus, squids, all these different creatures. And, and, and if you notice, they all are related to each other. All right. Through the uses. 
you know one eats another then gets eaten then gets eaten and but the cycle continues okay you look into the um the the land creatures and then and then you have animals that are amphibians then you have animals that, that strictly need to stay in the water to survive you have animals that have to stay on the earth and breathe in that oxygen to survive you know and everything is just perfect all right in in, in the way it was created you didn't have you didn't have a, a, a man born in wa- or, or you know living in water or fishes on land you know because what they weren't created to be on the land you know so you look at these things in order you know how you can eat certain animals and gain certain nutrients that are good for your body you know from these animals you know the way the earth yields fruit you know you put a tiny little seed inside the earth and over a period of time it becomes a whole tree and then bears fruit that you can eat (laughs) and then repeat the cycle and that's a whole process the photosynthesis and all of that that's that doesn't just happen all right now you have this here it says a shanae tempishka it says the shanae tempishka um is also known as la bamba um is a tributary of the amazon river called the only boiling river in the world now i remember the brother brought this out at camp all right and i was like that's interesting let me look into that and it says here it is 6.4 kilometers long it is known for the very high temperature of its water from 45 degrees celsius to nearly 100 degrees the name means boiled by the heat of the sun though the source of the heat is actually geothermal uh, geothermal okay um it says geothermal gradient is the rate of temperature change with respect to increasing depth in the earth's interior all right so this isn't getting this heat from from the sun but it's it's it's, it's just water in the amazon that's just boiling like oh you know certain areas you actually have to use fire to uh you know you get the water then you gotta boil it for it to get hot all right but this is just there and it's constantly like that so how do you explain that you know all right it says here andres ruzo a geotherm geothermal scientist has investigated the source of the heat there you go there you go so the fact that they had to go investigate it means they don't even know how it got there hey a lot of these uh, uh scientists all right who aren't paid off to lie to you they'll actually tell you look they don't even understand majority of the things that are, that 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 the, the way the earth is okay they don't understand how you can put together a human body do you know how complicated the human body is do you know how complicated anybody is you know you look at for example a worm has no arms no legs but yet it's alive you know it, it, the way I, I mean how how intricate do you have to be with the details to create the little organs and the little things inside the worm you know designed specifically for it you know and each of them have their own mind you know and how they move what they do how they communicate with each other and then you come to the human body all right which is which is most complicated you know the way the eyes work i mean you just you think you sit back and think about all these things and how they all need to work together you know in order for you to stay alive and you know but you're born with these things how the hell do you grow bones in your mother's stomach you know how do you go from a tiny ball to a, a, a human shape your, your hands your your fingers grow through your eyes your brain forms you know your legs and your, your spinal cord and the, the, all the thousands of nerves inside your body that are constantly sending signals throughout your body back to your brain you know electricity how, but how you know but you sit there and, and boast in your science and say the most high doesn't exist but you have no clue what the earth you man as of right now man i'll, I'll tell you look he saw things that he knows a lot which he has discovered you know quite a quite a, a, a lot of things but the things that are actually 
there in the earth that we don't know is much more than what we do know. Okay? So you may think you're an expert at this, that, and the third, but you're really just scratching the surface. Okay? And that's just dealing with the earth alone. All right? That's just dealing with even, you know, not even all the lands on the earth have been fully discovered. Not And definitely not the ocean. You know? Because the lands came forth out of the ocean, so what's, you know... But you going but see when you go into the scriptures, it'll tell you everything you need to know. But you're gonna sit there and say, no, that's fake, that's not, and then but but you're gonna make up something, assume something, and then that's what we gotta believe. So it says, um He initially learned it learned of it as a child from his grandfather. The river maintains its high temperature despite not being near any known active volcanoes or geothermal vents, which normally uh, provide geothermal heating for groundwater all right so i mean this is just another example now you you also have clouds for example let's look at let's take a look at clouds let's just type that in just clouds all right you look at these things right when you, whenever you look up in the, in the skies you know you can look at you see these things up there right you know, and, and, you know, you just, you know, of course, we're taught, yeah, it's, you know, water and the different molecules. And when they come, when it gets dense enough, you know, it gets all dark and then water comes down, right? All right. But what, what actually is this? You know, you can see the shape, but you, if you try to even touch it, you go right through it. You know, like, how do you even put that together? And why would you even think to put that in the sky? You know, you look at all these different things, man. And <laughs> it's just, it's just, you, you can only be in awe. And then you need to understand that, nah, this was done by a higher power. Okay, the fact that everything, that when we were put on the earth, everything that we needed to survive was already put on the earth with us. Okay, everything that you see in today's society came from the earth. Technology, cars, buildings, all of the materials that you look at, and you look down and you look at the ground, and you look at those things again, you may look at your, your PlayStation console. And then you look at you like, how the hell did this come from that? <laughs> you know? But it did. And then and then you look at the the brain, how the most high put thoughts into your mind to, for you to look at the different materials in the base form, alright, sand and, and and wood, you know, and all these things that be able to, you know, based on how what 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 temperature you use them under how you you know manipulate them and wield them you can create something else which when you put those together then you can you know plastic and, and iron and, you know electricity all these different things but you sit back and say that there is no god and that's why it says in psalms 14 and 1 the fool hath said in his heart there is no god you look up at the stars for example you know and how they're shining uh, uh, up there. What's holding them up there? <laughs> you know, if gravity is supposed to pull your ass down, right? And hey, even think about that, gravity. You know? So what, without gravity, we would just be flowing up in the air. But 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 see how the Lord thought about it all? To keep man upon the earth? But you got the sun and the moon and look at the sun for example nothing is really holding the sun it's just like a ball of light in our firmament that constantly goes round the earth rises in the east sets in the sun and continues to do what it does gives light gives heat you know i mean man it's just it's so much you know it's so much that the lord has has, has created that we don't even know about you know and you can't sit there and say well nah they know so how do you explain it they don't come up with no stupid ass Big Bang Theory. Okay. It says, um, they are, like I read, they are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that do of good. But you know what's funny? These elites will teach you, don't believe in anything spiritual. Everything is carnal. Seeing is believing. But they don't, they don't believe that. They just teach you that. Okay. They believe in, in other, other worldly, other realm. You know, they, of course, they worship uh, Satan. But they still believe in, in a, a superiority. They know the Most High exists. They just know he's not their God. <laughs> okay? <clears throat> because they understand that you can't have Satan without having the Most High. Somebody had to have created Satan. 
verse verse 2 it says the lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were there were any that did understand and seek the most high they are all gone aside they are all together become filthy there is none that doeth good no not one and that's why it says in psalms uh, i believe it's 53 all right about uh or or 53 let me see if i can find it about the wicked all right being estranged from the womb Psalms 53, uh, 58 and 3, it says, The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Now, when you look up the word estranged, all right, it says the war, uh, to be to be strange, stranger, um, to become estranged, loathsome, okay, to be estranged, to be alienated, okay, and it says, uh, from the womb they go astray. Let's look that up. It says to wonder, to go, to stagger. Um, it says to cause, to err, mislead mentally and morally. Okay? Did the Lord not mention ye err not knowing the scriptures? Look, it says of sin. So they go astray, meaning they sin. They go off. I mean, because they are the wicked. <laughs> All right? As soon as they be born. All right, it says their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear. So that's why it says that not one understood. All right, they are all gone aside. Okay, all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. Okay, have all the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they, as they eat bread and call not upon the Lord? Hey, the scriptures mention about how... Um, the Lord was, was a little displeased with us, but they furthered our affliction, you know, and they didn't consider the latter end. All right. It says, uh, verse five, they were, uh, there were they in great fear for, for the most high is in the generations of, of the generation of the righteous. Okay. The, the, the how shall I say what I'm with you with us, whoever, you know, you go even, even unto the end of the world. Ye have shamed the counsel of the poor because the, the Lord is his refuge. Oh, that the salvation of Israel were come out of Zion. When the Lord bringeth back the captivity of his people, Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad. You know why? Because we're going to finally be in tune 100%, really 144%, all right, with our power. All right, we're going to be made perfect, okay? So, hey, man, just, and, and this, you know, these things that we see, man, all right, that, you know, you may wonder about. You know, you look in the earth and you look at certain animals and how, how the Lord gave each animal a defense mechanism, specifically unique to it. They have their own traits that help them survive and they have a defense mechanism, whether it's to camouflage, whether it's to, you know, protect itself, whether it's to fight, run, whatever it may be, you know, but every, every animal is equipped for its uh, habitat. You ever thought about that? So that's just, I mean, that's just a fraction all right, of the things that we are to discover, man. But if you sit there, you look at the world, all right, and you don't even understand how a human is created because you just think of sex. Okay, what how, What about before that? You know, because you need a man and a woman to have a baby, right? But how did a man and a woman come about? Because you're just going to keep going like the chicken and the egg. They had to have been a beginning at some point, you know, but you can't explain that. <laughs> But you turn around and say, oh, no, no, ain't no God, man. And it shows you that these people, man, they're, they're, they're finished. All right, they're finished. But I'm going to end it off there. Just, you know, just wanted to go into that real quick. All right, Lord willing, those edifying to the elect. The time is coming. All right, when we're going to have the answers to these questions. <clears throat> all right, in perfection. You know, so, hey, that's also a part of the reward. You know, gaining that, that knowledge, man. Because <clears throat> right now, we know in part. Okay, but when the time comes, we're gonna we're gonna gain that full knowledge, man. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, Rechakudash. Until next time, Shalom.